I first came across the Harris through Lyndon Jenkins, who used to run the town hall in Birmingham. And he said, there's this great American concerto. It hasn't been played. It's never been played in Europe or the UK. Um, I think you should look into it. It draws a lot on the American folk traditions, folk song, folk dance, folk rhythms. But also, I think, because he was from Oklahoma and the landscape there is so huge and so open, there's such a sense of space. There's so many colours, textures, very, very imaginative use of all the instruments. So I hugely enjoyed getting to know his work and the very rich harmonic texture that he uses as well. The listeners, if they know any of Roy Harris, chances are it's going to be the third symphony. But he wrote many, many works. But like any composer worth his salt, he has his definite fingerprint. You can recognize his sound throughout all his music. When I went to talk to Andrew Litton about this project, I knew he also was very interested in American music and Roy Harris's work. He suggested the Adams. We were looking for another major American concerto, and I leapt at the chance to play it because uh, I think it's one of the greatest concertos. I thought it would fit her personality so well, Tamsin's personality. You know, she is half American, let's not forget that. And also, there are moments in the Roy Harris, even though it was written in 1949, years before the John Adams, that sound very much like Adams, especially in the orchestral part. It's unlike anything else. It's so expressive, it's so exciting, um, incredibly rich textures. And it was the idea of the violin as um, the consciousness of the soul, and the orchestra as the body with all these functions and different things going on um, is, is really fascinating and it's something very modern and very much of our time.